So how this all started? Let's take you six years back. I flew from India to Australia in 2015 to do my masters in Melbourne. And in the same year, Mira for some reason chose to fly to Australia as well for her working holiday. And luckily, we ended up in the same share house. And rest is history. Alright, thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Oh no no no, it's not over yet. So many things have happened in those six years. We both were new to Melbourne, so it was time to explore. And of course we did this on our bicycle. We started exploring places in and around Melbourne and we also celebrated our first Christmas and New Year's together. In the New Year, after a few months of getting to know each other, we went on our first trip together. We flew to Tasmania and we did a little road trip around this beautiful island. So the trip also had a dark side. We sort of had wrong expectation from this relationship. There was no way I was supposed to move to the Netherlands in between my studies and Mira wouldn't stay in Australia because she had to go back home and finish her studies. So a breakup followed. A breakup followed and Mira decided to move to Sydney and see more of Australia before the end of her working holiday. And here I was in Melbourne thinking about giving this relationship one more shot. So guess what I did? Thank you. I flew to Sydney to surprise her without even knowing where she lives. But eventually I figured it out. Mira, what was your reaction when you saw me in Sydney when I surprised you? Yeah, it was one of the sweetest things someone ever did for me. But back then it was just not really the best timing. I had to go back home, so there was no point in all of this. So then again, we had our final goodbye. Mira kept traveling, but eventually flew back to the Netherlands. I continued my study in Melbourne, but then one day, guess what happened? After just a few weeks in the Netherlands, I came back to Melbourne, because why stay in the Netherlands if you can also be in Australia? And this was the start of a new chapter. And now, with video content, because I got a GoPro. And from this point, we also started to fall in love with the process of documenting our journey and sharing this with family and friends. And guess what? We celebrated Christmas and New Year's for the second time in Australia. And together we planned a trip to New Zealand. New Zealand was great. It was like living in a dream world and going on adventures like these just made us more close to each other. But every trip has to come to an end. So guess what happened? I went back to Melbourne to finish my studies and Mira flew back to Europe. And again we said our final goodbye, knowing for sure that we would never see each other again. And after that both of our life continued, separate from each other, with no contact. But by the end of 2018, I got this message. Then we started texting each other, and sometimes also on the call. But from my side, there was literally no intention of getting back because there was no possibility of us being together at all. But you know, more I got to know her this time, the more she felt mature. I felt like even though we were living completely separate lives in different corners of the world, our values and how we want to live our lives were sort of growing in the same direction. And guess what happened? We planned a trip to Nepal and in between, we also somehow launched our YouTube channel. Apparently big decisions can be made also when you're both living on the other side of the world. And in September 2019, the time was there. We both flew to Nepal and we saw each other again after two and a half years.
After a month of crazy adventures in Nepal, we were determined this time to make it work. But how? That was the question. Of course, we had no choice other than having a long-distance relationship in the beginning. But we kept searching for something more sustainable. Plan A. Mira would move to Melbourne. Unfortunately, this was difficult because of our visas. Plan B. I moved to the Netherlands. Yep. This was it. Adi had to move. We agreed that I would visit Netherlands in June 2020 to make sure if I like it there. But yeah, we know what happened then. Covid. So now we had to go for a more drastic decision. I would apply for a partner visa and after lots and lots of paperwork and a Dutch test and a lot of patience, our application was finally approved. So after our first meeting in 2015, a few breakups and many adventures in Australia, New Zealand and Nepal, we finally managed to make it work somehow. And now we're here asking people to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the Netherlands. Yeah, and to find a solution for the echo in this room. These are the problems we're restoring with now. Yeah, because there's a lot of <laughs> echo here and because there's not many stuff, so yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching the video and we will see you in the next one. Subscribe is really annoying words. Yeah, subscribe, 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 subscribe. subscribe. Or give it, give it a like if you really... Oh, volg ons gewoon, maar gewoon volgen. Wolfen. Wolfers. Wolfers. Yeah. Yeah. How many workers have you? Yeah, not enough. Not enough? I have uh, 1400. Where? On my Instagram. Echt? Yeah. It's more, more than we have. Yeah. Yeah. Mensen, please follow us. Yes. <laughs>